All right, well, if you open your medicine cabinet this morning, you're probably going to see a lot of medication you don't use, but don't just chuck them in the trash. You've got to dispose of them in a good and proper way. Michael Edgerton's a pharmacist at New Hanover Regional Medical Center. He's here this morning talking about the, the, how you can get rid of medication safely. We were chatting in the break when, when I grew up, my dad wanted me to be you. <laughs> you <laughs> well, that's, that's very flattering. He wa wanted me to be a pharmacist. Hey, Dad. <laughs> um, so you don't just want to like throw these in a waste bin. The one that always baffled me was I was always mm -hmm. told to throw them in the toilet and flush them. And from what you don't want to do that either, correct? No, you really don't. Um, flushing those medications really increases the chances that they're going to end up inside of our water supply and our local uh, streams or watershed. So definitely don't want to do that. Okay, we hear all the time, you know, that there will be a drive going on, that if you have medications, there's a proper way to do it. If there's not a drive, what do people do if they've got these medications that maybe have expired or maybe they don't need to take anymore? What should they do? What are the steps that they need to take? Sure. Traditionally, there haven't been a lot of places, but I'm happy to say that New Hanover County probably has about five or six different places that are consistent throughout the year that people can drop off medications now. Um, one of them is at New Hanover Regional at okay. the outpatient pharmacy where I work. Uh, we have a drop box there. We also have a few at our New Hanover County Sheriff's Department, UNC Wilmington Police Department, and a few other locations around town. How, how prevalent, and I, I, I hate just kind of asking you for stats, but how prevalent do you think it is that people just toss these to where they end up in the trash bin when it's picked up at the end of the week? Um, probably more often or more prevalent than we would like to think. I can tell you, though, we've had a lot of uh, take-back events over the past few years. And we've collected medications from people with dates of 1970 to 80 wow. on them. So there have been really, really old medications. And, um, you know, obviously those aren't safe to take. Keeping those medications inside of your house really increases the chance that even a pet or a child could take those medications. And we definitely don't want that. Well, so. I started with that really quickly. My dad's a diabetic, uses needles. Is that something that you will also, can you dispose of those at your facility? Um, not at our facilities or the ones around town. Okay. However, at our take back event, one we have coming up on April the 1st at the Med Mall next to our main campus at New Hanover, you can bring uh, syringes to that. Okay. We work with the um, Harm Coalition and they will uh, be there to collect those supplies. Awesome. Michael, so. I appreciate the time again. Thank you very much. And we always say, don't call us with the questions. Always contact the hospital or your doctor if that's needed. We're back after this.